Hey everybody, welcome you all to the first tutorial by Smart View Kites in the course CEE 3401, that's Physical Transport Phenomena 1, a 300 level course by Bioinvesti Kano Chemical Engineering Department. So for today's tutorial, we are going to solve a question under heat transfer between walls in series. Here we have a question that says a cold storage room is constructed of an inner layer of 12.7 mm of pine a middle layer of 101.6 mm of corkboard and an outer layer of 76.2 mm of concrete. The wall surface temperature is 255.4 Kelvin inside the cold room and 297.1 Kelvin at the outside surface of the concrete. Use the conductivities from Appendix A3, that's the conductivities here are also given for pine 0.151 for cork board 0 0.0433 and for concrete 0 0.762 watt per meter kelvin calculate the heat loss in watts for one meter square and the temperature at the interface between the wood and the cork board so before we go to the calculation of this question let's take a look at this diagram we explain something from the diagram which you will solve the question from the explanation of it because this diagram is the exact diagram of what the question is talking about okay so if there is a heat transfer between this diagram let's say the heat transfer between this this is wall a wall b and this is c so the heat that's q for this a let me say q a using the fourier law is going to be k a times a the temperature then times dt all divided by dx dx can be taken as the length of a here you can see it has been given as the length of a and dt for a is going to be what qa is equal to ka times the area temperature which is the change in temperature it's going to be t1 minus t2 you can see here the temperature at the outward of a at the beginning of a and the and after a after the heat transfer then divided by dx a that's the length of a yeah dx a so exactly for b also it's going to be qb is going to be kb that's uh, the conductivity of b that's if the uh, object of wall a and that of wall b are different so it's going to be kb times the area also a dt dt b o dt2 is going to be what t2 minus t3 all divided by dx b that's for b while for c also i can say what qc is equal to kc that's the conductivity of c times the area into t3 minus t4 that's the change in temperature within c divided by dx c that's uh, the distance or the length of c so we calculate them so assuming we are told to find the q that's the heat between the all, between the general all of them so to do this that's between from t1 to t4 we are going to have we are going to do the same thing or we are going to use the same formula but we are ha going to have different resistances or multiple resistances for example we will say q that's q for general q is going to be my change in temperature t1 minus t4 that's into k a a divided by the x a plus k b a divided by the x b plus k c a divided by what d x c we can simplify this formula by giving that the resistance by changing k a a over d x a that of b and that of c by the resistance given that resistance of a r a is equal to d x a that's the length divided by k a times the area so similar thing for b is going to be this 
divided by KB times area and the same thing for C also. So if this is the case, I can simplify that equation by saying that Q is equal to T1 minus T4 into 1 over RA plus what? 1 over RB plus 1 over RC. All in all, I can simplify it further by just putting a denominator and set of numerators by saying that Q is equal to T1 minus T4 all divided by RA plus RB plus RC. That's for the total. The same thing for the individuals that I've started earlier. I can say now that QA is equal to T1 minus T2 over RA. QB also is equal to T2 minus T3 over what? RB. And the same thing for C also. I can say QC is equal to T3 minus T4 all over RC. And something amazing about this fact is that all the Qs are the same. I can say QA is equal to QB is equal to QC and is equal to the general Q. That's the heat transfer or heat loss or heat gain. It depends on how it's transferred. So I can simply, since there's this equality sign between them, I can be changing them when I'm told to find something from another equation, simplify it and determine the unknowns for the other equation. So this is for the general case. Okay, so now let's see how it's going to be solved for the above question. I mean. So for this question, let me read it and illustrate it in form of the same diagram. A cold storage is constructed of an inner layer of 12.7 millimeter of pine. So now I'm told that the material for this uh, wall A, this wall A can be known as the pine now. Pine. And it's giving me that it's inner layer of 12.7. Literally, this is the dxa, this length dxa. So here I'm given dxa as a data dxa to be equal to 12.7 millimeter, which is equal to what? 0 0.0127 meter. And a middle layer of 101.6 of cockboard. So this will be now is a material of cockboard. This here, cockboard. And I'm given the dxb, the distance or the length as what? 101.6 millimeter, which is equal to what? 0 0.1016 meters and an outer layer of 76.2 millimeter of concrete and i'm told that this last wall that wall c of the general uh, explanation now is concrete and it's given the dx or the length as dxc to be what uh, 76.2 millimeters which is equal to 0 0.76 two in meters the wall surface temperature is 255.4 so now i'm given t1 to be what 255.4 kelvin and the outside of the concrete that's here yeah this temperature t4 i'm given it to be 297.1 T4 is equal to 297.1 Kelvin. And I'm given the conductivities. That's Ka, Kb, and Kc in form of K of pine, K of cork, and K of concrete since they are my wall A, B, and C now. So I'm given here. K of pine, or let me say Ka to be 0 0.151 what kelvin kb that's of cork i'm giving it to be 0 0.0433 yeah 
and what of that of concrete? Kc, I'm giving it to be 0 0.762. 0 0.762. So now I can just use my general equation that I've uh, derived for all the three since I've told to find the heat loss in what? For one meter square. So here also there is a data given the area of each wall is equal to one meter square. So I'm to determine the heat loss, that's Q. So I can say Q is equal to T1 minus T4 all divided by RA plus RB plus RC. Let's calculate the resistances individually. So for RA is equal to dxA all over what? Ka times A, which is what? What's my dxA given? Uh, 0.7 millimeters, okay? 12.7 millimeters. So in meters, 0 0.0127 divided by K of A, 0 0.151 times the area that's one what's this resistance 0 0.0841 this is in what so similarly the resistance of my wall b which is now for the cock dx b all over k b a the same area altogether this is what 0 0.1016 divided by what's this k kb given as 0 0.0433 then times the area 1 what is my resistance of b 2.346 kelvin power then similarly for c RC is equal to DXC divided by KCA, which is equal to what? The length I'm given already 0 0.0762. 0 0.0762 divided by KC, I'm giving it to what? 0 0.762. 0 0.762 times the area 1. 0 0.1. 0 0.1 Kelvin power. So I, I'm also given my temperatures T1 and T4. So I can now calculate the heat loss for all together. Yeah, the heat loss Q is equal to T1, which is 255.4 in Kelvin. 255.4 minus T4 which is 297.1, 297.1, divided by the resistances. There, here I've gotten resistance of 1, uh, resistance of A, 0 0.0841, plus 2.346, plus 0 0.1, yeah. minus 16.48. So this is the first part of the question. I'm told to find the heat loss in what? So you can see the unit is in what? The heat loss in what? Why is it negative? Q is minus 16.48 because it's loss of heat. The heat is gained, it's going to be positive. But since the heat is lost, that's why we have the heat to be minus 16.48 watt. Then we have a second question find the temperature at the interface between the wood and the cork. That's the pine and the cork, this T2. Yeah, I told you, since the equations of those heats are all the same, we can relate them and find the temperatures in between. So to find that temperature in between, what's the first equation? QA is going to be dt, dt1, that's T1 minus T2, divided by RA. I have RA, I have QA, which is the general Q, all the together is the same, and I have T1. I can find T2. So I can say T2 
is equal to T1 minus QRA. What's my T1? 255.4 minus what's Q minus 16.48 and what's RA? 0 0.0841. After calculating, you see that the temperature, the T is going to Kelvin. 256.8 Kelvin. So, though we are not told to find the temperature at the interface between the cork and the concrete, we can find it, right? Using QB, using the second equation of the heat. Since we all have everything also, we can say QB is equal to T2 minus T3 divided by what? RB. I can also find the same T3 using QC is equal to what? T3 minus T4 over RC. Yeah, they are all one equation, one unknown. For QB, my, equation, my unknown is T3 and for QC also my equation, unknown is 3. I say T3 is equal to T2, which I have already found, minus QB RB. What's T2? 256.8 minus into minus 16.48. What's RB? 2.346. Therefore, T3 is going to be what? 295.5 Kelvin. 295.5 Kelvin. Thank you very much. Here we come to the end of this question. For questions or comments, you can state them in the comments section. Thank you very much.